This is an electric skateboard remote. This is an electric skateboard. This is also an electric skateboard, but it only has one wheel. Still, you can use this remote with it, and that's a beautiful thing. In this video, we're gonna briefly explain how and why a handheld remote can be used with a one-wheeled board that's normally ridden hands-free. It's important to know that this applies only to one-wheeled boards using VESC-based software and hardware and not to any future motion boards at the time of making this video. So, as was said, when riding a one-wheel style board, you would generally just ride it hands-free and use leaning to accelerate and brake. One of the best things about these boards is not needing a remote to use them, like one does with an e-skate. So what is the remote for? Simply enough, it's for a feature called Remote Tilt, which uses the remote input to bring the nose of the board up or down and have that new angle be the target angle. Think of it like having elevated mode in a remote. Need some more nose clearance for an uphill? Pull the throttle back. Need some more tail clearance for a downhill? push the throttle forward. That's basically it. VESC boards do have something called ATR, which automatically gauges the uphill and downhill you're on, and gives some more clearance by lifting and lowering the nose of the board to suit the angle of the ground. However, a remote can give the rider the chance to preload an angle change where ATR may not respond as quickly or as severely as the rider may like. Pump tracks, sudden elevation in mountain bike trails, or some ramps that are very steep can be more easily navigated while preserving the existing tune and ride feel of the board that works everywhere else. Connecting a remote to a VESC board depends on the controller since some have different available connections. This puck uses a PPM connection, and so while it can be connected to something like a Fokker, it cannot be connected to something like a Thor where those pins are not available. I'm currently using this Flipski VX4 connected via UART to the Thor 300 in my board. Functionally, all remotes will generally work the same and there's not much setup to do. Once you have the remote connected, you really just need to enable it in the refloat or float settings in VESC tool and it will essentially just work. I was skeptical at first of the remote usage, but now whenever I go to a trail, I have the remote with me. It's just been a lot of fun. Do keep in mind, it is very easy to make a mistake if you are not used to using a remote. You could dig your nose into the ground and effectively have a nosedive where you did not expect it. So while remotes are very fun to use with a VESC based one wheel, they are very dangerous and it is easy to make an injurious mistake. I hope this was useful information. I appreciate your viewership. Take care.